Hello, welcome to this presentation of Excel to Sage. My name is Aura Martirosian and I'm going to show you how to import Amazon orders into Sage 50 with just one click. So what's Amazon? Amazon is an internet marketplace which allows you to sell your products and services uh, and it's international so it has um, operations in various countries like France, Germany, UK and so on. And you normally log on to your marketplace vendor marketplace to download details of your orders. What's Excel to Sage? Well, it's pretty much uh, the only thing you'll need to import stuff into Sage. It's used in various different environments, from importing things from EPOS systems, billing systems, iPads, as well as normal files, things like Excel spreadsheets, CSVs, and uh, EDI orders from um, traders. It caters for all the day-to-day -day transactions, everything from sales order, or purchase order, stock movements, cash, and so on. Currently, over 30 different types of imports are catered for. So let's have a look at the demo. So what I've got here is in this folder I've got my three files from France, Germany and UK. I'm just going to kick that off and whilst it's doing its stuff I'm going to talk through what it's doing. So in this demo what I've done is I've taken the files from UK, France and Germany and I've put them uh, into one folder and I'm going to import them all at the same time. The system will automatically look up things like products and addresses and I'll go into that in a bit more detail in a second. And the automation module has a scheduler, so I could put this on a schedule to say import it every hour, every 10 minutes, every 2 hours or whatever. And it's available for all the versions of Sage, uh, including 50, 200, 500, 1000 and so on. So what's it doing in the background? Well, when you download an Amazon order file, there are three key columns that need to be catered for. The first one is the green one, which is addressed uh, ship to location. That holds the delivery address. So what we've got is we've got a very simple Excel spreadsheet, which looks that up and replaces it with an actual address, which is what we need as the delivery address in the sales order in Sage. The beauty of doing that is if the address changes, all you do is you change the Excel spreadsheet very easily. The second one is the SKU column, which normally has the barcode in it. And again, we've got a very simple Excel spreadsheet with two columns on it, which matches the barcode to the Sage product code. The final column is, is the blue one which holds the value and what Amazon do is prefix it with a currency code. So EUR for euros, USD for dollars and so on. So let's go and have a look at what that's done. Okay so this is the log file for Excel to Sage and I can see that it has created a few orders for us. So let's go and have a look at those. So if I go in here and just refresh that, there we go. So these are the orders that we've got and we can see that uh, these are the euro ones and these are the sterling ones. So let's have a look at the, all of those and if I just edit them these are all the transactions that have been automatically imported and if I just exploded one of these we can see the details that have come over. There's the barcode for instance from uh, Amazon. Very very simple. So what are the benefits of Excel to Sage? Well, it's very quick and cost effective. It's easy to use and setup times is typically less than a day. It can be easily changed and modified for extra requirements that you might have. And there are already various different add-ons on there. We've just looked at the automation one. There's a intercompany module which allows you to use the same file and post it to multiple companies. There's a charity version of the product. There's a version that brings data in directly from SQL databases and so on. In summary, this particular import will make your sales order processing a lot more efficient because it means you don't need to do manual data entry anymore, you don't need to do lookups anymore and as a result you won't make any input errors. Thank you very much for your time and interest in Excel to Sage. Please feel free to download a free trial uh, and uh, to contact me if you've got any particular questions or queries or you'd like to discuss your own specific requirements. Thank you.